I was pretty successful though. Not many were able to make it out. The ones that are, are stinging at my face. But right now that carbon monoxide is going down into the chamber. There is not a single yellow jacket that's alive. That is one of the best methods I've ever seen at dealing with an underground yellow jacket nest. In today's video, we're gonna pump carbon monoxide from the tailpipe of my truck down underground to destroy another very dangerous ground hornet yellow jacket nest. I'm out here at a friend's house and they have a nest in their backyard. That's a very dangerous situation when you have kids running around. If they go near that nest, they'll get stung. These are so aggressive, they'll attack and sting. They can sting multiple times, unlike a honeybee. They don't die and they just swarm. These aren't honeybees, they're not making honey. They're yellow jackets, they're scavengers, and they're really annoying around picnics and dangerous if you're allergic. A friend called me up and said, hey, can you deal with this nest? So I thought I'd try this new method. It's called underground exterminator. It's really designed for underground pests like moles, gophers, maybe woodchucks and skunks, but we're gonna try it out on ground hornet yellow jackets. Let me show you the nest. So here's the entrance to the nest. It's actually a pretty large hole. Worker yellow jackets are coming and going. Now this isn't the original hole. The landowner tried to kill this nest by spraying the foam down in it and covering it with dirt. But instead of killing that colony with the foam, the yellow jackets just dug the second hole. It's pretty large. So what we're gonna do is we'll connect the underground exterminator to the tailpipe of my truck and stick the other end of the hose down in this and cover it with dirt. We'll let the exhaust run for about 20 minutes, then we'll dig up the colony and see how large it is. So this end just slides right on the tailpipe. You wanna make sure you have a good fit. It's airtight, so we'll push all that carbon monoxide down to the nest. We're gonna cinch down this hose clamp. So I started up my truck and exhaust is coming out this end of the hose at quite a bit of pressure. That should pump all that carbon monoxide down into the chamber and kill the colony very quickly. I don't want any yellow jackets coming out of the ground, so I have a shovel full of dirt. As soon as I shove that in the entrance, I'm gonna cover it up, making it airtight. That way, only the yellow jackets returning are gonna swarm around. Hopefully, they won't try to attack me too much, but I do have my bee suit on. So we're gonna shove this down and kill the colony. I'll let it run for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna do this very quickly, trying to seal in all those aggressive ones. Oh, they're mad and coming out. I was pretty successful though. Not many were able to make it out. The ones that are, are stinging at my face. But right now that carbon monoxide is going down into the chamber. Usually when I dig up a nest like this, they just pour out of there and are attacking me. Right now the workers are returning wondering what's going on. So I'm just gonna go back and forth and sweep them up. Now a few important safety tips are, you wanna make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area, never do it in a garage. Also, you don't wanna rev the engine of your truck while you have the exhaust system hooked up to this underground exterminator. This is probably one of the calmest and least stressful yellow jacket eradications that I've done. I can't wait to dig it up and see how large this nest is. Now when doing this, you do have to be careful. Sometimes they dig a second escape hole. You wanna make sure all the holes are covered, but I'm not seeing any come out. So I'm pretty sure all that exhaust is going down and not venting out a second hole. So I've let this run for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna to start to dig it up, see if yellow jackets are coming out. If they are, I'm gonna stick it back in there and let it run longer. But if they're not, we're gonna dig it up. Oh, the chamber's right here and there isn't a single yellow jacket coming out. All I'm seeing is large numbers of dead yellow jackets. It's a pretty good sized nest. There is not a single yellow jacket that's alive. That is one of the best methods I've ever seen at dealing with an underground yellow jacket nest. This was a pretty big colony too. So this method absolutely worked incredibly well. Here's the cavity that we filled with carbon monoxide underground and here's the nest. It completely killed all those yellow jackets. It's a pretty large colony. The only ones flying around are workers returning wondering what happened. Let's take a closer look at this nest. Well, as you can see, this underground nest was exploding in population. Layer after layer, each chamber is completely full of larvae and pupa. Now these make excellent fishing bait, so I'm gonna freeze these 
and take one with me every time I go try to catch crappie, bluegill, and perch. I even found the queen. She's an egg-laying machine and much larger than the workers. I've had to deal with many of these underground yellow jacket nests. They can be so aggressive and dangerous. I've tried many different methods and by far my favorite is the underground exterminator. Now I do want to address one thing. I've done many of these videos. They're very popular. Seasonally, they pick up in August because that's when people are getting stung by them. One of my most popular videos of all time was similar to this where I used dry ice and CO2. But over the past few weeks, it really exploded in views and I started getting comments from people really concerned about the yellow jackets. They were confused and thought they were honeybees. Also, I learned in Germany they're protected and you can't kill them. And I think with all those negative comments, it was flagged. And I was shocked to receive a notification from YouTube that that video would be age restricted and demonetized. They didn't tell me what part of the video was so offensive. I couldn't understand it. We were simply dealing with dangerous insects. So I appealed it. And within minutes, I received a notification that my appeal was denied. Hopefully this video doesn't get age restricted. I just don't understand the reasoning. These are very dangerous. They're not honeybees and they can really hurt people. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted almost 800 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and occasionally yellow jacket nest, stay tuned.